In today's video, I'm going to recreate a setup that we have in NVIDIA. And I'm going to do it by running all possible retracements, extensions, and projections on this chart. I'm actually going to start with the projections, though. There are a lot of these that we need to do. Um, it's basically where I'm going to be comparing swings in the same direction with the most recent high-low swing. But let me just start over on the right-hand side of the chart. So let's take some of these prior high-low swings and see if they match up. Okay, that one's kind of similar. Let's also look at the swing inside of that swing. Okay, now that one we went through, so let's get rid of that. Um, I'm not so sure. Let's try, let's try this one over here, high to low, basically comparing swings in the same direction. Okay, there's another projection. And there's also a slightly smaller one right inside there. So I'm running those. Okay, and now you can see where that symmetry comes from. Um, and there's also some other swings over here that we can uh, look at because many swings tend to be similar to other swings on the same chart. So I'm going to run a few of these others. Let's see if we can, that one looks like it comes in over there also. This one looks a little bit too large, too large. Maybe this one. Okay, that still comes in below. Let's try this one, high to low. Project it from the high. Wow. You can see that a lot of these swings are similar to this other swing, okay? That's one of the reasons why we have a setup here. Now, we're also going to see about um, retracements or extensions. I think I'm just going to do the most recent swings for retracements, like from this low to this high, and then I will also do some of the higher lows to this highest high. Let's see what comes in there. So how about low to high? Oh, actually there's a 618 that overlaps that um, other cluster. Let's try the slightly smaller swing, higher low to the high. Okay, then there's going to be a 786 that comes in underneath that. We're going to do one more over here, low to high. Um, actually we're through that 786, so let's just get rid of that. Okay, we're done with the retracements. I'm going to get rid of anything that's a little bit too far away. Okay, and then are there any extensions? So there's two areas I see where I can run an extension. I can run this low to high and extend downwards. And then um, maybe this low to high and then this low to high. So let's try those and see where that comes in. So low to the high. Okay, you can see there's a 1618 that comes in below the market. Here's another low to high swing. Okay, you just uh, slightly, slightly through that, 17707. And then let's also do the most recent swing. But I think you can see that, you know, this is where we've developed a, um, a pretty healthy price cluster of support. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the stuff that's way below. Um, I guess the area that uh, has stood out to me is really, well, let's include this bottom one, 174.23 to 177.07. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have at least 10 price relationships there. Now, the thing that I don't like about this setup, it's not a royal setup, and that's because the 513 is in a sell mode, okay? But if it crosses back to the upside pretty quickly, I would not be surprised if we started seeing um, another extension to the upside, but it would be very important to clear um, or have the 513 cross back to the upside to anticipate a possibility of um, 20075 as target one and 20728 as target two. So that's pretty much it. That is your setup in uh, NVIDIA. Uh, it would be nicer if we had all the averages on the right side, but it's still a setup. Definition of my risk is going to be, or the max risk would be underneath that 786 retracement, underneath 174.23. And of course, um, initial targets are up here. Uh, and it's just going to be a bust if it bro breaks underneath this support. Okay, that's how it works. Set up, push trigger, it goes trade entry, and then you manage it. Typical triggers, you know, depends on whether you're looking at a day trade or a swing trade. Day trade will have um, maybe a one minute two minute, five minute chart trigger. But for a swing trade, we're waiting for a um, you know, 15 or 30 minute chart to take something overnight. 
That's it. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe.